How's everybody going today? Doing today? Um, have a decent amount of stuff to talk about. I've got some more tips going uh, your way. Got some pickups that I did, um, and uh, you know a couple other topics that I wanted to uh, get into. So we just had the San Diego Comic Con, obviously. Um, if you were one of the fortunate few that made it over there, you've probably seen some of the great stuff. You pick some up and some people uh, picked it up to flip or whatever. Um, it's a great, great place to be and it's relatively diff difficult to get to, obviously getting tickets and all that other stuff. So um, if you ever get the opportunity to go over there, you definitely need to make sure that you're picking up some of the exclusives and doing that can actually help offset the cost of the trip overall. So uh, taking some extra spending money to do just that is always a good idea. One of the big things that, um, there, there was several like action figures and toys and whatnot that showed up at this year's uh, con and one of the sets that I was eyeballing that's probably gonna have some decent uh, staying power as far as, as value and and long long term uh, worth was the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade turtles and foot clan uh, exclusive set if you guys can manage to pick one of those sets up still right now and you pick it up $150 or less you could easily flip that thing for 180 to 200 dollars i've even seen them go actually as high as 350 bucks so that set is going to be one of those that if you find it cheaper pick it up and flip it so that you can get yourself some of this stuff um that's definitely a uh toy or a, a, an action figure set to keep your eyes out or eyes open for um the other thing I wanted to talk about is I'm into gaming stuff like a lot of collectors are and one of the cool things that I saw recently was uh, Nintendo has put out their classic uh, NES but it's the mini version and it's going to be loaded with 30 games on it. It's going to be high def TV compatible so you can hook it up with an actual HDMI cable. Um, the other cool thing is that it's going to come with its standard looking controller, but it's going to be wireless and that controller can be used on the Wii and the Wii U as well. So very cool there has the whole retro look and feel just shrunk down. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's going to come out around November 11th, I believe, and that thing's going to shoot up there around $60, which is actually a pretty low price point. Uh, I would say the timing is perfect for them. They're going to sell out pretty quick, and it's going to be a hot item for Christmas. So if you manage to get one for yourself, that's that. That's going to be something cool to have. If you grab a second one to uh, help yourself cover the cost of the first one, it's even better. So you could probably flip that around Christmas time and make some extra money on it. It's probably going to be a pretty hot item for Christmas if I had to guess. So. Gaming stuff usually does really well around Christmas time. I know that October they have uh, the newest uh, updated version of the PS4 coming out and they're releasing the actual uh, Friday the 13th game for that um, and you can actually you can actually do the whole uh, play as Jason or one of the camp counselors and it's your job to stay alive and actually kill off Jason or obviously if you get to be one of the lucky few that start few that starts out as Jason you get to go on a whole freaking murderous rampage kill off all the uh, camp counselors and whatnot so should be for make for an awesome awesome game especially if you're into horror stuff um, Definitely something to look into around October. 
So be saving up for that one for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, some pickups that I would look at for comic books. Uh, some definitely hot pickups for you is uh, Plutona number one. There's a movie coming out for that book. It uh, is a really new release issue and uh, they still had some at Diamond last I knew, but I'll bet it's sold out as of now that all the news has come out about it. You could probably still find copies sitting on the shelf at local comic book shops here and there. So make sure you're keeping your eyes open for that one. Snag a few copies that cover and uh, it's an easy, probably $20 flip book right now. Um, Flashpoint, we all know the Flash TV series is going towards the Flashpoint storyline. Uh, a book to be on the lookout for that is going to be the one-shot Flashpoint Reverse Flash. It's going to be a hard-to-find book, and it's already bringing in like 20 bucks. Um, so make sure you're looking for that one. That's going to definitely be one of the key issues to grab. Um, also, a book that's out there in back issue bins uh, with a movie coming out is The Kitchen. The Kitchen number one. They actually have um, variants for that book as well. So be looking in those back issue bins for that. It's funny because one of the, the days that I had gone out looking for books, um, I had dug through a lot of the uh, back issue indie stuff and that was a book I actually passed up and so I'm gonna have to go back to the spot that I actually saw that and hope that it's still there because I actually saw that book in their back issue in their clearance stuff it was like 50 cents and I should have grabbed it I don't even remember why I didn't grab it I think maybe it had a little damage that I didn't want to deal with because it was such a uh, you know a, a book that wasn't super hot at the time it's funny, it goes to show you how quick a book can flip on you. But, you know, I know they still have it, um, and I can go from there. So, that's pretty much it for my actual tips for you guys. Um, you know, I, uh, I'll definitely show off my Silver Age pickups here in a minute, but I wanted to get back to something that I showed off here a while back. One of the things I like to do, I collect tons of stuff, and uh, one of the things I love to collect is, is coins. Um, so I always check my pocket change coming back from like cashiers and stuff like that. I always buy rolls to, to, to go through almost like searching back issue bins for comics. Um, and I showed off the fact that I had picked up some rolls at a bank a while back. Well, one of the things that I found was this 1960 Lincoln cent clipped uh, error coin. It goes for about eight bucks and you can see clearly the little cutout right there. It's actually an error from the when they actually cut the or uh, uh, made these at the mint and uh, you know it goes for about eight bucks. It's a really nice copy, a uh, really nice coin with high uh, high qualities and whatnot. Those are types of things that most people will just look past thinking it's a jacked up coin. Well, if you see that edge is real nice and smooth and clean and it's not anything jagged like somebody did it with a pair of snips or accidental or whatever, that's going to be a clipped error. And uh, those, are, those are actually worth some money. So another thing to look for is if the rim of a coin is excessively larger, like if it goes all the way over or something, and part of it's, you know, like the rim looks like it's way bigger than it should be on one side of the coin. Those are actually errors too, and they're worth some more money. Um, I like to collect coins because, you know, they're, they're something that always retains value. A lot of collectors out there. And stuff like silver, um, it just... It's just a great thing to have, and you can still find it to this day in uh, pocket change. I have a few samples here of what I'm talking about. So, first I have a 1957 silver Roosevelt dime. And then the next one is a 1961 
silver Roosevelt dime. Hope you guys can see that. Well, the point, I got those. Uh, I got one of them from like a cashier at a Walmart. And the other, I think I got it at a gas station or something. So to get silver out of change is still pretty common. You just have to pay attention because most people will just look right past it. Then... At banks, I like to ask if ask if they have any like half dollars or whatever, um, and sometimes they will. It's not it's not a super common thing, so you got to keep an eye out and ask all the time. But I found at one of the banks that I went to, I found a 1962 uh, Benjamin Franklin half. It's 90 percent silver there. And then a really cool one, 1943, Walking Liberty, 90% half. So, very cool. Love to find silver. And on occasion, I'll actually open up trading of older coins for comic books. So, if somebody's out there and they're like, hey, I've got some older silver coins, like old quarters and stuff like that, and I'd like to trade for comics, I do that on occasion. So... Um, right now I've got a few people I'm talking to about stuff like that, so, you know, just something to help out my collections, because I hoard just about everything, and, uh, it, it's, it's just something that really helps me out, so I don't have to spend a ton of freaking money on that stuff, so. Um, I'm gonna show off my lovely books that I just picked up that are all Silver Age. So I got these locally, and uh, I was very, very happy with it. So, Justice League, issue number 41. It's the first appearance and origin of the key. So, great book there. And also, uh, Hot Girl, I believe, is, a, is an appearance in that book as well. This one was very clean. Jimmy Olsen, issue number 119. It's a Neil Adams cover. Very uh, nice copy, pretty high grade. This one here, Thor, issue number 156. Uh, Mangog and uh, Recorder appearance in that book. So, very nice copy there. Only problem is the top right corner is missing a small piece of that corner, which sucks, because otherwise that copy was like easy. 6.57 range, something like that, and could bump up easily. Um, Thor, issue number 136. This is actually the second appearance of Sif. Great book, great copy. Very happy to find that. Another great one, Journey into Mystery 125. This is actually the final issue in that run, and uh, Hercules' appearance between before uh, Thor issue 126. Iron Man number 12, controller appearance. Iron Man 39, him versus, versus White Dragon. Uh, Avengers issue number 29, cool book. Avengers number 33. This is the uh, second appearance of, of Bill Foster, Black Goliath. And then this is a really nice copy here. Avengers 74. It's an early Black Panther. This book is probably around an 8. Very, very nice copy and can easily bump up from there. So great books. Was super, super happy to find those on the cheap. You got to do your best to find your stuff um, fairly low so that you can actually afford these hobbies. <laughs> and since I collect so much stuff, it's really, really imperative that I get creative with everything that I do. You guys can do that. Do some trading. Meet some people that you trust. Do some trading amongst them. Do whatever you can to, uh, to help yourselves out because I know it's like everybody else. These are expendable items. We don't have to have them. We don't don't have to drop the money. You always have to have food and, and water and roof over your head and stuff. So this is kind of one of those afterthought things when we're doing well. 
Um, but if you're like me and you really enjoy doing it, you find other ways to do it. So offering up your services in trade, um, you know, talking to friends and family that might have some old collections, picking those up on the cheap, whatever, you know, it, it's all, all what you do to enjoy these hobbies. Um, I would say that's about it for me. Check out the Angry Geek Show with Jeremy and Lewis. Great guys. Uh, the Comic Book Ill Illuminati group uh, on Facebook. Great group. They have several spun-off groups from them. And uh, they usually have lots of discussion, show-and-tell type things. And they even have a radio show now. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, great group. Great people. Lots of fun. You guys got to join up on those types of things. Look at those reply auctions on the Facebook groups. Uh, you know, those are all things that are going to help your collections grow. So, you know, jump out there, enjoy it, and uh, find yourself some awesome stuff. You know, um, it's, it's a good, good time right now because everybody is digging out their old stuff and throwing it out there and trying to make some, some money off of it. So just be smart in how you're collecting, be smart in how you're spending, because it can get overwhelming really fast. If you ever have any questions, if you ever want any advice, I'm always available. You can hit me up on Facebook under uh, James O'Brien, uh, or you can uh, hit me up on uh, YouTube, and I'll, I'll be uh, available to answer questions, you know. I'm not above helping people out. I do it all the time. My inbox is always full. Uh, if you guys have comments, questions, have any suggestions, please leave uh, leave them on the uh, comments section and like and subscribe. I will be doing my uh, subscriber contest once I hit twenty two or two hundred uh, subscribers. I'll be doing two free clean impresses for somebody. So um, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for always watching, and I will talk to you again real soon. Peace out.